Again, this is going to be uh, the part two of the tutorial on creating the Game of Ninjas. I'm going to go kind of quickly, but you actually can pause, rewind, kind of watch it again if you need to. So we're going to actually do some things to actually group those uh, little body parts together and then create the uh, weapons there. So let's go back to, if you, to Illustrator here. So this is my example, what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is actually open up the um, Gang of Ninjas that I started with. Okay, so this is actually the part we actually started with. All the bunny parts are actually all separate. We need to group them together. So first off, we're going to need to do some things. Make sure the smart guys is checked and make sure nothing else is checked here. And then window workspace needs to be set to essential classic. You can just reset here to make sure I have everything um, the way I see it there or the way that I have it in my example. So first off, we're going to do is click on the layers panel. I'm just going to make that a little bit larger here so I can see everything and bring it down. So click on layer one, right? And so then un un open up the group there. So I'm going to hide everything. So just click on the eyeball next to everything. I want to actually hide his two eyes, his face, and then uh, his head. And you can see in my example here, that's a bow staff guy. I'm just, I'm not grouping that little arm there. So this arm, I need to grip on this arm. Oh, let's go opposite. So this arm right here. So we actually have the right arm should still be visible. So click on the direct selection tool and window everything. Now I'm just going to go over to Pathfinder and unite them. So it's united together. Now make sure the, the group here, the path here, goes on the rail one so that I can turn all those on. So if I don't put the a body on the bottom, then it looks like this when you actually turn up everything on, and then it looks a little weird. You can see there that you sh your head should be in front. So basically, I'm going to take the body and place it on the bottom there. Okay. And if you want to, actually, can click and move those guys around so the ways they're not kind of overlapping each other. Okay. So we can just close. So we're going to close layer one. So open up layer two. In a group here. Then I'm going to do I just select everything. So this one, the Ninja Two, that's the nin, uh, guy with the nunchuck. This I'm just going to group all of his arms and legs. So I'm going to turn off his eyes, his face, and his head, right there. So direct selection tool, window everything, then click on the unite. This is unite here. So you know, click to unite. So it unites everything. I can turn everything back on, right? And see, like his head should be, or his body should be on the very, very bottom. Yeah. Now I go to the third guy over here. So we'll close Ninja 2, open Ninja 3, and open the group, and turn everything off, right? And this one, I'm just going to have his leg is hidden there. So you can see my example. His leg is separate there. Okay. So now just make sure his body, is, his head is turned off. And then the leg here should be turned off. So I should have everything else, but his left leg is actually going to be turned off. Strike section tool, win everything here. Oh, let's win everything here. Make sure we don't have everything. Just have that one and just selected. And click on the unite tool, unite it. And Again, so turn everything back on. But again, the body right here should be on the very, very bottom. Okay, just like this. And now what I'm gonna do is hold the shift key down and click and move, drag it over here. It's an easy way to do it. So now I'll open up the fourth um, ninja tool, ninja, and open this group. Turn everything off, right? That I don't want to see. And this one, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna group everything together. You can see, like this is the um, the guy you're just grouping together, all the arms and everything. So you just turn off the head here. So again, it should have all the all four arms and legs. Click on direct selection tool, select everything, and click unite. Okay. And then turn everything back on. But now, again, the body should be on the very very bottom here. So close ninety four. Okay, so it's going to look like this if I screw out. So now I've actually united this together. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is uh, highlight layer one 
and I'm going to create some uh, weapons for the guy. So I'm going to uh, zoom into this guy, the first one here, and I'm going to create a rectangle tool, right? So create his bow staff. So I just create a little rectangle like this for his bow staff. So we're going to go back to the appearance panels and make sure it has two strokes in there. And this one, the just like before, this top stroke um, should be outside. The color should be black. Okay. The stroke should be two. And the inside, or this second stroke to be inside, right? And now this one is three, one, two, three. It's going to be a little darker brown. And then again, it's going to be the stroke two, two points. And then the fill color is going to be one, two, three, and four. Okay. I'm going to a selection tool. Make sure that it's going to be curved a little bit. You can actually see my example here. Then it's going to be curved a little bit. And now I can zoom out a little bit. And then direct selection, uh, selection tool again. Make sure uh, that it's going to be the right size. Yeah, he's got a bow stuff there. But now, just like the examples there, it's behind his arm to make sure it looks like he's in his arms there. So I click on the layer and drain that down. That's still in layer one. But now, the rectangle should actually be behind that little... So be between the head and the arm. So now I actually can see there he's actually holding his hand. Okay, so we're going to go into here and create some nunchucks for this guy. So again, it's the rectangle tool. Drag it down. Make a little rectangle. Again, then I'm going to go back to appearance panel. Then two strokes here. This top stroke should be black, right? So two points. And the stroke should be outside, which is you know, outside here. And then second stroke should be inside, but the color should be, yeah, this one, two, three, brown. Two points for the with stroke here, two points. And the uh, fill color should be one, two, three, four, brown. Okay, so let's go back. Selection tool. And I need to probably make it a little bit yeah, longer. So then if you want to, you're going to copy it. So click on Edit, uh, Copy, and then Edit, Paste in front. Now I'm going to actually move that a little bit more over here. You can see our example here, they're kind of like turned in a little bit. So I'm going to turn them in. So I'm going to rotate in a little bit. And this one here, I'm going to rotate out a little bit. Like this. Okay, so now we're actually going to create the chain. Okay, that's going to be like these little dots here. So we're going to click on the ellipse tool. Click once on the screen. And this is going to be the point 0.1. Now the height should be, again, point 0.1 as well too. And click on enter. Okay. Now click on the drag selection tool to do anything. So this one it should be actually two strokes here. And this stroke, this one is going to be metal. So we're going to click on the black here for the outline. And this one is going to be a little different. So we're going to click on the gray. So it's going to be one, two, three gray. Now the fill color is going to be one, two, three, four on this gray. Again, if you don't see those, you can always click on the um, the swatches here, and it's going to be the default swatches. So if you need to click on these uh, default swatches, it has the ones up here. Okay, and actually get my attention if you don't see those. Okay, they should all be there. Okay, and then I've got that little thing there. Make sure. So, oh, I think um, this. Click on that again. Make sure. Uh, this, yeah, it sets outside. I didn't set to outside. Okay, so you look at this. So you basically have a, uh, yeah, one, two, and the three there. Okay. Move that up a little bit. And what I'm going to do is, if you want to click on edit, and then copy, and a piece of front, or you can click on the, click on item here, and click, hold down the alt key, and it's a quick way to actually create a duplicate copy. Now I'm actually going to do something. I can deselect everything, but now you actually blend those together. So the blend tool down here, it should look like this little three little shapes here. Click on the first little chain, click on the second one chain, and that creates a little blending of those two. 
Okay. And now we're going to click on the pen tool. And what I'm going to do is actually create a little path that creates the little chain thing. So I'll go here, click and drag it a little bit. And this go in the direction of our chain. Uh, this one can go out a little bit more like this. Out a little bit more like this. And so I'm just clicking and dragging a little bit each time. Kind of like this. So I've got my little chain there. So I click on the escape key. And now I need to actually click on the selection tool. That's still selected. That uh, uh, stroke that we just created. Now I'm going to click on the shift key and click on my little chain. And now I go into object and blend and then replace spine here. So this actually be part of our little chain there. If you want to, now I actually can make sure there's a little space out. I want to make them a little bit more. So I'm going to click on there again to blend and uh, blend options here. And go into specified steps. And I can just hit the up arrow and increase the number of um, little chains there. So I click OK. Okay, so I've got the little chain there. I've got it. So I'm gonna window everything here. And I'm gonna go into my group and my properties to group it. But now my layers here, that needs to actually be on the click on the little color square next to it, and this needs to be the layer two. Okay, so be on the blue color there. And then I can move it on to his hand there. So now when I select it. I'm sorry, that's on layer two, but now this group here should actually be in the top. So now I should be able to select it and then everything gets selected. If the nunchuck is not on the group here, so when I select this guy, it's it's not going to select the nunchuck. Okay, that's why the nunchuck group needs to be so it's a group within a group basically. So I'm close number these two, I'll zoom out again, uh, zoom back in. And now I can do is create a little sword here for this guy. Go down to the star tool. This one's a little different. So I'm going to create a star, but we're going to do down to three points here. But this is kind of corner, so we're going to hold down the shift key to create a perfect circle here. Or a straight, uh, perfectly lined. And like on my mouse. This one is a little different. So I'm going to click the appearance panel. This needs to again have filled two, two strokes. This one, again, Outside is set to black, two points, but this one is a different. So you set inside, and the black is at the inside. The second stroke is all set to inside, but this one should be four, right? And the color, right, should be one, two, three, right? And then the fill color is going to be one, two, three, four. So again, you have the stroke here. So again, it looks the same, but it's all set to inside. Okay, so now we can actually click on the direct selection tool. I have to click on the top anchor point there. And now I want to drag it out and create this kind of like a little sword here. And so it should have a little point there. If you don't actually do the in, both inside uh, strokes, it will be squared off and I'll know the difference. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is actually create a little shadow effect with a pen tool. So I'm going to zoom into this a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to click on, um, I will set it to, the stroke is going to be set to nothing here. Okay. So I'm going to click inside the gray, inside the gray here, inside the gray. So I'm making my line, it's going to be actually flowing inside the, the gray line. So I'm going to come on here, this one. And now this um, stroke, I'm sorry, the fill should be actually just one, two, three, like the dark one. Okay. Selection tool. So it should have this kind of like same. Um, back, so, we see. so we should have this um, kind of shadow effect there. So next, the last thing I'm going to do is actually create a rectangle tool. A little rectangle for the handle. Again, so this one needs to be two strokes. And at the uh, now we're going to go back to the original one. So this the color needs to be black, and the stroke needs to be set to outside. And again, this one goes down to two, right? And then the inside 
But this stroke, the second stroke, needs to be set to inside. And the color needs to be set to the brown. So one, two, three, and needs to be set to two. Two. And now the fill color sets to the one, two, three, and the four. The fourth brown. Okay. So it's doing kind of the same thing. What I can do right now is click on the selection tool and click and drag it around to make sure it's actually centered there. Hmm. Yeah, so it should be, you see those little purple lines come up at the center point here and the center point. Uh, yeah, see, so you shouldn't see a little gap there. You should actually see the black lines overlap like this. Okay. So there, there we have it. And now I can uh, hold Alt key down and scroll out. Then we're going to do is click on the you know, selection tool and window the entire thing and actually group it together. So um, on my example there, you can see look, they're kind of like um, rotated out a little bit. So I can rotate out just a little bit and then hold Alt key down. So scroll up. So this one needs to go to this guy right here. And then I'm actually going to create a copy. So I'm going to click copy, edit copy, and edit paste in front. So now hold shift key and over, I guess, a little bit. Or we can actually move this one down here. Same thing. So I'm going to create a copy over here. I'm going to rotate the other direction now. So now it's got another kind of like sword in his hand. But the last step I need to do is actually make sure this one's on the correct layer. So this is on layer two. It should be on the layer three with the ninja three because that's where this one is on. Click on this, come down to layer three, and click on this, come down to layer three. Now open layer three, and those two groups should be in part of the group there. I'm doing that again to make sure when I click on that, both the swords are selected now. The last thing I'm going to do is actually create a throwing star. So I'm going to go back to this, hold them, oh, this little shape tool, Grab the star tool, and I'm going to click and drag out a little star. Um, I'm just clicking, hold on my mouse still, I'm clicking and dragging. I'm going to click on, this is my three, four, five, six, seven. This should be right there. And about the right size there. And I can hold on my shift key. And it creates a little throwing star. Okay. Uh, this is going to be helpful to actually zoom into a little bit. So this kind of shape. And again, I need to make two strokes. The outside is set to black, right? And this is going back to the metallic color. So the inside, um, this one's set to outside, right? Now the second stroke should be set to inside. And it'll be set to that gray color. So one, two, three, gray. And the fill color should be set to the one, two, three, and four. Okay, so like that. So now I'm going to go to my, uh, this is called the lasso tool. And we're going to do is a draw a circle. Oh, I'm sorry. Delete that. So go back to my selection tool and my, my lasso tool. Make sure what I'm going to do is actually draw a little circle. We have to have that selected here with the direct selection tool, right? So that way I can see the little points there. So click on my lasso tool now. And I'm going to click and drag. I'm just going to select the outside little points, not the inside. So click a circle and kind of circle it here. Now, before I go back to it, I'm going to click and go inside, I guess, the star to only select the outside points there. So I'm making kind of like a little shape there. So now they're all selected. I click on the rectangle and just click and drag, and they're going to be dragging those kind of points that run there. Okay. So now I click on the selection tool again and zoom out a little bit. So this guy and maybe I make him a little smaller here. Hold the shift key down. If I need to make it make all right smaller here. By the right size. So click Alt key. Now I actually can if I want to halt to Alt key down it creates a copy there. So this little guy. So now I'm going back to my layers and make sure that um, is on layer four. So you can see there, you can see a little thumbnail there that's we're creating. Those need to be on layer four, and this need to be on layer four as well. So 
click on the color square, drag it down to layer four. And now when you click on that, all those should be on layer four. Mm. Oh, they're not. Oh. Yeah. So now we actually click down on number four and those little throwing stars should be inside the groups here. Okay. And so we can click on that and now everything's there. So I'm going to zoom out and then I'm kind of arrange everything. So this is helpful because now when I just select that, it's going to have everything selected. So again, this ninja guy is going to go over here a little bit. The bow staff guy is maybe going a little bit lower in the middle. The uh, throwing star guy will go here. And this guy, uh, I think in my example, I kind of rotate him a little bit. So I'm going to rotate him a little bit. Bring him over like this. Okay. Let me very close to my example there. Okay. Now I actually come back to this and click on File and Save As. I want to save my computer. And I want to just call it uh, Gang of Ninjas. I've done this sometimes. And then we can just call it hyphen two. Okay. And then click on save. Click on yes. And okay. So now what we're gonna do is actually go back to Canvas and turn it in. So click on start and choose. And I can go back to my downloads. It should be the Gang of Ninjas dash two. This is this part two? And I click on open and submit. And that should finish it. Thanks for watching.